When I first started doing comedy, I had a guy ask me a question on an airplane. The guy was like, wow, you do comedy, huh? So when will you know that you're a professional? That's what he asked me. When will you know that you're a professional? I was like, wow. I never thought about that before, because like a doctor gets a, a plaque, you can practice medicine, an attorney passes the bar, officer gets a gun. How do you know when you're a professional as a comedian? So I told him, after I get a certain amount of money for one show, that's when I'm a professional. Then I got the money and I was like, doesn't feel like I'm a professional yet. Fast forward some years later, I'm doing a, I'm doing a show at a comedy club in the South. And I get heckled from this guy in the back of the room with more twang than I can explain. <laughs> you ever hear somebody with so much twang, it sound like they speak in banjo? <laughs> you just talk to him, hey man, how you, what you gonna do? You gonna go around that you go stop, your foot starts stumping, you're like, what is going on? How come I can't control this? So the dude heckles me from the back of the room, and he says this, Micah Jr., I was wondering, why do all black people look alike? Right? And the whole crowd froze. It's an all-white audience. They didn't know how I was going to respond or what I was going to do. They had no idea. I didn't know how I was going to respond or what I was going to do. They didn't know if I was going to throw a chair, get mad. They had no idea. When I said these words, I didn't even think them. When I said them, I was hearing them for the first time. He said, Micah Jr., why do all black people look alike? I was like, we don't all look alike. You just got to cut the eye holes in your sheet a lot bigger. <laughs> and that's when I knew I was a professional. <laughs> 